Laura Davis needs little introduction. The English veteran is one of the most accomplished golfers of modern times. She has four majors, more than 80 professional wins worldwide, seven European Order of Merit titles, and is the only European player to have topped the LPGA money list. What's more, she's still going strong at 49 years young. I think I don't uh, practice endless, monotonous practice regime. And I think, you know, I practice when I'm not playing well. If I'm playing well, I just warm up and I go and play. And I think over a period of time, just hammering the ground, thousands of balls a week, it'll wear you down and you get a lot of players with back injuries, knee injuries, elbow injuries, wrist injuries and it's just the monotony of hitting practice shots. A lifelong member of the Ladies European Tour, Davis has been spending more time this year on the American circuit. 50 next month she still believes she has the quality to beat players half her age and is still hungry for more titles. If anything more so because you know there's people out there doubting you and probably saying oh it's a, you know isn't it? You, you get sometimes you feel like you're being sympathy claps out there on the course when it's not going your way, and you want the, the cheers for good stuff. So, I think I'm more competitive now because I just want to have the the be up there in contention week in week out, like these young younger players are, and, and obviously they're they're doing it week in week out, which is what I want. Um, so yeah, the the competitive edge has never gone. She won five times on the European Tour in 2010, but those were her last titles. And she admits the last two years have been disappointing. You know, I feel I started off in Canada a while back and, you know, I was tied for second after two days and I felt good. And then just had a miserable Saturday and uh, sort of faded away on Sunday. But I felt good, I was playing well and I was right in contention. So if I can keep, if I can get in contention a few more times, then you never know. Until this year, Laura had played in every European Solheim Cup team since the tournament's inception in 1990. She remains the all-time leading point scorer in the competition and was disappointed to miss out as the Europeans made history this year by romping to victory on American soil for the first time. Of course I was, you know, I've tried, I've tried uh, five, six times before and I've never been on the winning team and not for the want of trying. Um, but it, for whatever reason, it never worked out, but uh, this time it did, and, and obviously it was nice to be there um, in the team room on Sunday night, seeing the girls enjoy themselves. If ever there was a future captain in waiting, then surely it's Davis, who was impressed by the way this year's skipper, Lotta Neumann, handled things. Well, they played great. I mean, Lotta did a good job. She, she put some good picks in. She got the, the pairings perfect, the, the singles line-up. I mean, even little... I know we... we we should have won it on Sunday, but for, for a while there, it got a little bit red, that board, but she had the experience in the middle, which was very clever, and uh, the girls played fantastic golf, and Charlie Hull was like a big a superstar. She's In six months, she's gone from a schoolgirl to a superstar, and it's, it's lovely. Hull's inclusion in the European team effectively scuppered any hopes Laura may have had of being picked for the matches, but there are few who dispute the teenager's potential as one of the game's new superstars. Mind you, she's got a long way to go to match Laura as a national treasure in the UK, celebrated as much for her love of football and exuberant personality as her golf. Having won a tournament almost every year of her career since 1985, she remains two victories short of a place in the World Golf Hall of Fame. It's not a main goal. My main goal is to win tournaments, and because my main goal is to win tournaments, if I get two more, I'm in the Hall of Fame, and that would be something that would just be the icing on the cake. So, obviously, I want it, but you know, I, I haven't won on the LPJ Tour for 10 years, and that's that's a long time, 11 years now. So, a lot of people probably would say no chance, but I know how I'm hitting it. The names that are in the Hall of Fame, you'd like to think that one day my name belonged belonged alongside them. So. If I don't do it, I must admit, I won't, uh, I won't kill myself or anything, but it'll, it'll be something that I should have done that I never did. A born winner, straight talker and true champion, Laura Davis will always be remembered for her contribution to the game of golf.